and trilids. And trilids, not much difference. Yeah? You have the carboxylic acid group there, they're similar to aspirin, and they have a, a minor group also to the carboxylic acid. That's antrile acid. Okay, so it's based on this template. So this is the acid, this is Ponston. That uh, usually you use, I think you have probably taken some Boston before. Yeah, so um, for period pain. Okay. So firstly, this carboxylic acid needs to be also to the minor group. Very important. Very, very important. Yeah. This is essential. If you change that to, carbo uh, to a carbon or oxygen, a bioacestere, remember? Last year? No? Okay. So if you change that to a bioacestere, it doesn't work. Okay. Activity drops. The 2, 3 prime, 2 prime, 3 prime dye substitution is again very important. That makes it non planar. If you take it, take out these two substitution, you just have um, a benzene ring. Yeah? It'll be planar. Okay? If you add in the dye substitution, or even mono substitution, yeah, it'll be non planar And that helps in terms of the activity. Remember, again, the arachidone acid, they want to have more pi pi interaction as well. So yeah, they add in a second ring here. And if they found that if you actually make it non planar it's not the same, it's not the same plane, non planar then it helps you actually increase the activity of this as an anti-inflammatory. Yeah? If you um, put a monosubstitution, sample in here is this uh, fluphenamic acid, CF3, just one substitution yeah? at the 5 position. Yeah? This is very potent, the most potent. Um, NC. Okay. Calcium doesn't have carboxylic acid. What does it have then? Hmm? You have a thiol group, group, okay. What else does it have? It doesn't have carboxylic acid. So what substitute there for the acidity? Do you remember tetracycline? Yeah. Yes. What looks familiar to you? I doubt it, lah. You guys, <laughs> you guys are not looking at me. <laughs> Do you remember tetracycline? Do you remember the top part of tetracycline? No. You can Google if you want to the structure of the tetracycline. Yeah, the one of the prominent features of the tetracycline, and also in here as well as is the enol or the enolate. Yeah, and enol is very acidic. In other words, it actually simply remove it gives up protons because of the two carboxylic acid. Yeah, sorry, two ketone there. Yeah. And that, that proton can be easily, um, just, is, is very easily simply dropped like that. Okay? So, the potency of this peroxychem is 200 times more than aspirin. Why? Doesn't have carboxylic acid? Why is more potent? Because, first, of the formation of to mention of the enols is very stable. Second is that you have this heterocycle. 
So how have you learned about Ultra Cycle in the first year? Why have you learned about Ultra Cycle in the first year? What does it actually function as? Maybe I should ask it in the, in the quiz. Eh? It functions as an electron sink. The electron sink actually will resonate. You will actually move around, distribute it around. There's a resonance there. It can also go into this side of the molecule as well. In other words, this structure is very stable. Yeah, it can actually form. It can actually remove, donate the pro the acid very easily. And that structure is very stable when you have this heterocycle. You remove the heterocycle, with example, you replace it with an aromatic ring, activity is really is terrible.